Welcome back. As Hispanic Heritage Month comes to a close, we want to share one more event that is is explosive with color, design, and the rich Latin culture. Yes, this weekend, Runway Latinx steps off, but before the models hit the runway, we're giving you a sneak peek, because that's what we do here. We get yes. to show you and talk about it before, before. it even happens. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Joining us now via Zoom is CEO and producer of the show, Arabelle Alva Rosales. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited too that we get to talk about this. So what is this runway show all about? Tell us a little bit more. So it's a three day event that starts tomorrow, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. On Friday, we show local designers on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, actually, we have national and international designers. Oh. And then Sunday, we do a women's empowerment day because the whole event, apart from being the closing event for Hispanic Heritage Month, is dedicated uh, to empowering women. We, we actually raise funds to for a non-for-profit called Pivoting in Heels. And so Sunday is a full day of empowerment for women. We also have incredible chefs uh, the three days, uh, local oh, wow. chefs, uh, some of the most delicious food that you can think of, um, you know, some of the top chefs in the city, Chef Dudley, Lupita Romero, uh, 90 Miles. So we have a little mix of, you know, everything and several restaurants from the Burbs, um, Altiro, who has opened up like five or six restaurants. So they're all going to be with us, including Azul. Uh, I don't know if you've been there, oh, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. So you can come. We, wow. we say fashion, gastronomy, mixology and entertainment. Ooh, can't wow. beat it. That Arabelle, you had me at 90 hot. miles. I love some yeah. Cuban food. And so I know they have several spots around mm -hmm. the city. So cool to hear that combination and, as well. Yeah, I had me at the food too. And I, <laughs> I love the play on the pivoting in heels. I love mm -hmm. that, that play there, that juxtaposition. Uh, so walk us down the runway a little bit. How do local designers and vendors uh, get their work showcased at, at such kind of an, an exclusive gathering? Yes, well, they contact us, runwaylatinx.com, which is also where you can get your tickets and everything. Contact us. And then throughout the year, we're kind of gathering the information, working with them. But also, you know what? Um, uh, my dad was a tailor from Mexico turned designer. So for me, this is very personal. Mm. And, I, you know, it's part of a way to give back for me. My business is I'm a CEO of a tech company. So we help a lot of people with this. And there's a lot of young people that are involved that volunteer as well. They can contact us through the website. And so they get a hands-on view. Some of them started up with us as volunteers, and now we've got them helping with the production backstage, you know, on the floor managing. And so one of the things um, that we also do with Pivoting in Heels is we raise funds for internship scholarships for young women. And so they get paid for the work that they do, and then we also help place them in other positions. Gosh, I love that this encompasses so much from nonprofit to women empowerment to fashion, food, mm -hmm. culture. Such a good combination. Arabelle, thank you so much for taking time to just share more with us ahead of the show this weekend, and we hope you have an amazing time. Thank you, and we hope to see everyone there.